time. Dude, don't do that. What would do if I were president, Mr. President? I would make same-sex divorce illegal. Then see how bad they want it. Really, Nick? I think that's why you're not president. And that's a good thing. Okay. You shaved your head for V for Vendetta. Did you also shave your V for vagina? Huh? Um, pass. On a scale of one to a hundred, how many words do you know? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. In The Matrix, Neo is the uh, chosen one. Hey. So he's Jewish? I'm sorry, what? Neo is Jewish? Neo is Jewish. Because he's the chosen one. I mean, now I'm gonna, you know, go back to interviewing dumb actors. That's all I'm saying. No, it's fine. Wow. It's fine. He's a big star. <laughs> You think people focus maybe too much on your looks and, and don't even, you know, realize that you're just a shitty actor? <laughs> really? Next question. You've been raping since the age of 13. Rapping. Rapping. Oh, babe, that makes more sense. You should just ask. Okay, yeah, sure. How do you respond to the complaints of the lack of white representation, Crazy Rich Asians? Huh? <laughs> you serious? You guys did not hire one actor and put them in Asian face. It's unfair that Asian people get special movies about them. If you made a movie that just starred people like me, you would get slammed <gasps> by the critics. You would. They did a movie about you. It's called Heavyweights. What was that thing you were complaining about, the Me Too movement, before we started rolling? What, what? was that? I wasn't, no, I wasn't complaining about that. Now you don't want to say anything that the, the cameras are going. Bruh. I'm Asian. You're Asian? Really? Caucasian. Oh, there's a cock <laughs> in front of there. I went to a masseuse. I don't know why I'm telling you this. She whispered it into my ear. Do you want me to make your banana cry? Did you let her? No, it threw up. Ew. Not Thank you so much. I just, no, you, Okay. I just forgot that I have to use the bathroom. Should I, is he serious or? Where do you keep your Oscar? Your Oscar or Bombastic side eye. I mean, your uh, Blockbuster Entertainment Award. Where do you keep that? <gasps> your face resembles uh, James Dean's. Oh, thanks. Is it safe to say your sausage resembles Jimmy Dean's? Um. In your downtime, what do you uh, get up to? Well, I like to uh, do a lot of work with the community that What's going on? You're fat. <gasps> what a wonderful atmosphere you have here. <laughs> they did a movie called The Hunger Games. Um, yeah, isn't that your life story? <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't say that. That's off-putting. You should a... be off-putting. Because you're fat. Really exciting to talk to you, especially right in the middle of your public meltdown. Gonna say anything? Yeah, I just have never interviewed a seven-year-old before, so. You affectionately refer to your fans as beaners. No, believers. Yeah, that makes more sense. When you're in the recording studio, do you ever think, hey, what if I don't make something shitty? Does that pop into your mind? You know what I was doing when I was your age? Finishing fourth grade. Your young punk attitude is not gonna work, understand me, son? <laughs> Bruh. You have a hit pop song called Starving. Let me guess. You can't relate. You have 12 million Instagram followers. How long did it take you to apologize to each one of them for Bumblebee? <laughs> I walked out of that movie. I'm just kidding, I didn't walk out of it. I skipped out because I was so happy to be leaving. Read online that you're very private and declined to answer questions that make you feel uncomfortable. Is that true? And how old were you when you got your first period? What's weird about that is that it, that sentence with a period and a question mark. 
superhero character is called Captain Marvel. Yes. I mean, why don't they just call it Captain Comic Book? And what would your superhero name be? Captain Crunch? The Bulk? <clears throat> I'd like to thank my guest, Brie Larson. If you ever see her out in public, don't call her Gorgonzola. She'll flip the f and I'm very pleased to have one of my favorite actors, Steve Carell. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. I hear the camera adds 10 pounds. Looks like you've eaten five cameras. Shots fired. Uh, I really love The Office, and I think that... Uh, I see where you're going. Uh, I've watched your show. I know what you do. I'm not going to do the insults like I usually do. Oh. I actually brought a few things I'd like to say to you. G-Force? More like G, he's fat. The only French word you know is buffet. That's not true, I know the word croissant. I heard your last name used to be even longer, but you ate all the other letters of the alphabet. Zach, you look like a homeless guy who's been to a soup kitchen that specializes in ice cream soup. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I do struggle with the weight thing. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Is Corral not your last name? Not originally. What is it, Pinocchio? Okay. You go to the beach and someone yells, shark, shark, and then they just realize that it's Steve Carell doing the backstroke. <clears throat> when you go to the beach and you swim out past the buoys, do people think that there's an island there? I'm not that fat, man. You are. My percentage of body fat versus your percentage of how much your nose weighs, I guarantee that your nose per capita weighs more. <clears throat> All right, Frank. That's so. Point is, is I'm not that fat, okay? I'm not that fat. <clears throat> When you see how well it works for Donald Trump, China, do you ever think to yourself, oh, maybe I should be more racist? Are you asking me to go with you? Where? To the naked pool. <laughs> oh my God, you are hilarious. I wasn't joking. The image of me naked in a pool with like a fat garden gnome. Damn. <laughs> I hope your dog dies. You have one of these, you know, these faces. It's a face that can go either way. It can use inductive reasoning to solve mysteries, or it's the type of face that masturbates all day wearing a helmet. Are you okay? We need to take a break, have a word from our sponsor. Make America great again. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Why would you play a commercial for my opponent in the middle of our interview? He paid me in stakes. Uh, Mrs. Clinton, we should stay in touch. What's the best way to reach you? Email? You've got mail. Where do you keep all of your awards? Uh, On your mantle? I don't have that many awards. At the end of your career, are you gonna look back and say winning the MTV Movie Award for Best Fight made it all worth it? Yeah. Tell us how you got your start in, in show business. I fed my way to the top. You fed your way to the C list. Yeah. I mean, most people try to go a couple letters up, up to the A. I went right to the middle. Uh, yeah. You go to your acting coach and go, I've got to play a goddamn ant. What am I supposed to do? I you mean, lost can... me at acting coach. Yeah, that seems about right. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, I was just reading the box office returns for your last three movies. Notice that you're wearing a shirt. Is everything okay? <laughs> Me. All the things you can win an Oscar for, how surprised are you that you won one for acting? Here we go. But so did that guy from <gasps> 30 Seconds to Mars. So, um, how proud can you really be? Do you research your roles? Yeah. Have you ever considered uh, researching a character that has taken acting classes? Right now I'm acting like this is fun. How am I doing? What is it like to be the last black president? What's it like? for this to be the last time you ever talk to a president. It, it must kind of stink, though, that you can't run, you know, three times. <clears throat> Actually, I think it's a good idea. You know, if I ran a third time, it'd be sort of like doing a third hangover movie. Didn't really work out very well, did it? This is off topic just a bit, but uh, do you mind if I borrow one or two of your sperms? Uh, no, I think that would be inappropriate. There's a big conspiracy theory that you're not aging because you're immortal. Is that why your movies feel like an eternity? Eternity feels shorter than this. Touche. You mean ticklish? You're laughing. Go up the ladder a little bit. I'm ticklish right here. Tickle it. Tickle my thigh. <laughs>
Just email me here. Your email address is benstiller69 at verizon.net. Yep, benstiller69 at verizon.net was already taken. Okay, good. Tell you something, this it's country boy right here is not really intimidating. Invasive. I'll follow you home tonight. <laughs> I'll knock you to out <laughs> right in your chair. Get me up with it. <laughs> <laughs>